All right, today I have the Sync 30 in my hands, and this is obviously made by Tom Bin. Again, this is not a paid review or a sponsored video. As a matter of fact, this isn't even a review. This is just my overview of this new Sync 30. And this is why I really like Tom Bin products. Number one, all of their products are made in the USA. Number two, their customer service is excellent. They are a smaller company with about 50 people based out in Seattle. So if you do decide to contact them, you'll definitely get a real person from the United States. That's huge for me. And I just want to show my real support to this company that's based out in the US. Now with that said, let's get on with this overview. Now I got this backpack to replace my previous backpack, the Synapse 25. That was a bag that started all for me. At that time, I really wanted something that was uber light, but it had to be palm proof because I was traveling all the time. Sadly, my Synapse 25, which I had for four years, was stolen when I visited Sacramento. So shout out to Sacramento. You'll never be the capital of California. It's always going to be Los Angeles. You will always be the capital of California on paper. All right. Now, personally, the Sync 30 is the ultimate version of the Synapse 25 and it's because of this one feature, rolling luggage handle pass-through. Now say it with me again, rolling luggage handle pass-through. And this is what I'm talking about right here. And it's because of this one feature, rolling luggage handle pass-through. Now say it with me again, rolling luggage handle pass-through. This was the one thing that always bugged me about the Synapse 25 was that it could never really sit on my rolling luggage. Why is that a big deal for me? Because I travel more than 30 weeks out of the year. That's why. All right, so let's just take a quick second or two and just admire this bag. It looks sick, man. This black, this is sick. Okay. So I forgot to tell you which model that I have. So I got the black 420 para pack with the uh, Cloud 210 Ballistic on the inside. All right, so let's go ahead and just open up this bag. Let me take a quick second here and just do my thing. Camera's struggling with the autofocus. Um, so I've opened up the bag and here is that mesh padding for your laptop. They didn't have this in the uh, Synapse 25, which was kind of a bummer because, you know, you spend 200 bucks and you don't really have any padding for, you know, that two, three thousand dollar laptop that you are flexing with. Okay, and now you have this side pocket here where you can access your laptop. And uh, it's padded. Let's go ahead and zip that back up. And these backpack straps are new, is what I am reading from the description. They are new, they are revised. Um, personally, they feel like they have a little bit more padding compared to the Synapse 25. I also have the Synapse 19, and uh, those were a little bit thin. Well, let's keep it moving. So you have this waist strap there that is included. All right, so if I go to the main compartment, the main inside compartment, that is what it looks like. Before I usually keep my clothes in there, my jackets, uh, maybe headphones. All right, let's keep it moving. Next, we're gonna talk about this pocket that I really love. This is the water bottle pocket or the water bottle compartment. Why is this a big deal for me is because it's in the middle of the freaking bag. And why is that important? Well, it does not shift the weight of your backpack left or right. It keeps it centered. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty deep. As you can see, almost all of my forearm went in. And next you have this uh, side pocket here, pretty deep. And uh, you can keep your pencils and stuff. I usually keep my mouses in there. 
on the other side of the pocket you have this uh, well first and foremost I gotta take this out this is the lanterns for the zippers okay and here you have the key strap all right and last but not least the final compartment this one at the bottom um, I also keep clothes in here uh, typically probably like um, typically I keep like a down jacket in there, gloves, beanies, um, if I have small enough headphones, I'll keep that in there, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. I do travel, uh, tomorrow. I'm going to Minnesota, and, uh, we'll see how this bag works out. Um, the one thing that I'll notice about this bag is that, um, this black it's kind of I don't know what it is but it's kind of dusty looking and uh, it takes a little bit to just kind of wipe you probably need like get something wet and wipe that down to get rid of it but um, yeah this is, this is my quick overview of the sink 30 by Tom Bin thanks for watching